In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the proper workflow in the event that you need to rename some of the DGN files that are contained in your project. As you can see here, I have a corridor file open, and in this file I have referenced in the geometry file and the terrain model. And I also have the default 3D model for the corridor itself referenced in. Now, if I were to detach either one of these, that would break the relationship between the corridor and the geometry and would cause problems with the design. So, for example, if I try to detach this, you see that I get this message that tells me that this reference has probable dependencies in the current civil model, so it's talking about the corridor. Detaching this reference will break the relationships in the element rules, which may be permanent. Are you sure you want to detach it? So I'm going to say no, because that's not a good idea. Now what happens if you need to go in and change some of these names, that will effectively detach them, in a sense, from the model. So let me go ahead and, and close this, and I'm going to show you the proper workflow to rename these files. So I'm just going to close out of this, and I'm going to go into Windows Explorer, and I'm going to open up these files. Okay, so here are the three files that I'm working with. So let's say that, you know, these have been my working design files, and now I'm halfway through the project, and I've been given a project number. So I need to change the names of all of these. So I'm going to go in and rename each of these to the project number. So let's say it's project number 567, and I'll rename each of these project number 567. Okay, so now when I go in here and open the corridor, I'm going to show you what has happened. So I open up the corridor. You see that none of the references are currently attached. Uh, the corridor is still there. However, if I try to go in and take a look at this corridor, you see that I don't have all the options here in the heads up display. If I go into Corridor Objects and try to select this corridor, I'll get the message, Corridor has an unresolved reference. So let's go in and take a look at these references and see what's going on. So you can see they've both turned red, meaning that Power Inroads was not able to find either one of these DGNs when it loaded the master file. So you might be tempted to just go in and reattach these. So we'll reattach both the geometry and the terrain model. And although I have reattached both of these, you can see if I go back in, I still am going to get that same error message. Open Roads doesn't have a way to understand that these, what it considers these new files, that those have a link to the corridor. So instead, what you need to do, let me go ahead and just detach these. Instead, what you're going to need to do to restore this relationship is to highlight the reference file right click and go to settings and here where it says file name you're going to browse and select the new file name let me, let me get your here. and click OK and then we'll do the same thing here with the terrain model go to settings and browse to that new name and click OK and close And 
and you can see now that I've done that, my options all become available. Those relationships are restored. Let's see why they're not showing up because I don't have them turned on. So there you go. So we have effectively renamed our files and we have restored the relationships between the master file and the references.